You have a question about the Cubs, though. Lester's Lester. He's been great, and we're known to his greatness in the playoffs. But, Frank, I'm just wondering, you know, do they have enough rotation-wise? I feel like we're starting to see some cracks throughout their rotation, and I wonder if they've got enough for the long haul here. You know, I, I told you they to started a season with a, with, a, with a staff of, I think, number two. I think Lester's the number one. He's proven in the sure, past. Right. But the rest of their guys are all number two or three pitchers. But the bottom line is, will they go out and make a splash at the All-Star break? Because they're scuffling. The offense is not scoring enough runs. They might need enough of some more pitching. I'm worried about their offense because they're, they're more talented than this, but no one really has got it going all year but Chris Bryant. Yeah, but listen, I mean, the back end of their bullpen is, is phenomenal. You got Morrow and you got Strope in the back of the lineup. But right there, man, you saw the ERAs. The one thing that sticks out to me like a sore thumb is you, Darvish. I need a little something more from him to come over and to make such a big splash in the free agent market and to sign such big number contract with Chicago Cubs. I'm sure they were expecting a lot more at this point in time. I mean, offensively, Rizzo hasn't gotten going. I mean, this is a division where they're not going to walk away with anything. Right. Four out of the five teams in this division, man, are plus run, run differences. Well, they give a lot of money to Chatwood. He's walking the ballpark. And by the way, it just was told that Joe Madden, after the game, said that he did call for the bunt. Believe it or not. Why did he, he call for a squeeze in that play? I, I don't. Why know. did he call hey, for a squeeze? You see me over there? I don't you know. You see me over safety there? And this one right here? Are no good. See all with that? Nobody on. I don't right like that? safety squeezes with nobody on. See well, see, one? that's interesting, right? Because right. you figured you're just gonna call a squeeze, you're suicide. <laughs> exactly. Right? You suicided with no outs. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, it looked awkward from the beginning, man. Eight. That's why Rizzo was halfway down the line. Well, let me it get it right. Awkward. Bryant and Baez, the only two have been swinging consistently all year for this team. When you got that guy up there first and third, there's no way I'm putting on that. Let me let me ask you a question. If that game is tied one-one, you like the call? I don't month. like the call at all. You don't like the call at because all. Because he's leading the league in the National right. League in RBIs. Let the man swing the bat. It's a weird one. He's dangerous. It's a weird one. Cubs don't score again. They score one run against the Indians. Not a serious to remember. You just wonder uh, what they're looking at right now. They got some holes. They got some things to figure out. I, I mean, let's throw it out there. Can Justin Verlander have the single greatest uh, season in starter history and beat Dwight Gooden's record this year? I think so. He's capable. Yeah. We saw what he did coming over from to Detroit last year. Put a spark in that team, they were World Series champions. Uh, for some reason, he's so comfortable in Houston. He likes pitching there. I don't know if it's being there every day watching Nolan Ryan look at you up close. Yeah. But for some reason, he's hit another gear. He's always had it in him because I faced a guy, you know, my first couple of years when he was in the league, and he was amazing. So right now, he's comfortable, he's healthy. As long as he's healthy, he's gonna pitch like this because the guy knows how to pitch. He knows how to really work that zone like no other. I mean, I've never seen a guy that can pitch up in the zone perfectly at 96 miles an hour, and it makes a guy look crazy all the time. Yeah, what do you right? think, Swish? Well, there's no one that can, that can locate the fastball like he does, man. I mean, exactly. yeah, that was back when we were facing him back mm -hmm. in the day, you know? But, I mean, let's, let's be honest. He's 35 years young. I mean, this guy's been doing it forever. He's on a Hall of Fame track. The one thing that really stands out to me is, yes, he is 35 years old in his body, but he is also 35 years in his mind as well. And there's no better tool than experience. Mm -hmm. This guy knows exactly what he's doing each and every night that he takes that mound. He has a plan, and he sticks to it. That's why he's been successful from the moment he got called up to the moment today. Will I'm going to agree with him Will he that. beat Gooden's modern-day record? I don't know, but I, you got to understand, he's playing in one of the smallest ballparks in baseball. That's a good Yeah, point. definitely you know, in a hitter's so. park as well. That's that's a good if point. he keeps his ERA, this is it could be one of the most phenomenal seasons ever because of the size of that ballpark. I mean, I mean but is, pop -ups it, get is it not? I mean, are we not giving point. him enough credit? I mean, is this not one of the? This is the most historical season ever. Right thus now, far. And again, we know it's May, but it, you know what's funny? If you look at it, and this this kind of tells how ridiculous the Astros staff is. If you look at the top twenty-five, again, <laughs> yeah, this, this is sixty-nine this is so when they lower the mound. There's three Astros in the top 25. <laughs> Their current starting staff, Verlander, Morton, and Cole, are in the top 25. Again, <laughs> long way to Amazing. go. Amazing. Still insane pretty impressive. What's going on right now? Fun to talk about Verlander. Rusty today, guys. Give him Rusty. A Rusty. Nine ERA punches. went up Nine today. Punches. That's. Nine of them. Wow, that is something. Oh. Show, hey, show, hey, show, hey, show. This is hey. your guy. I'll be honest, this guy is getting better and better. That's a clutch situation. They're down 3 1 in ninth. Big hit. Motivates the team. What happens? They win the next day. So, you know, this guy, you got to get him in the game as much as possible. I know this pitching thing is an incredible pitcher, but they're a better off as a team when this guy's in the lineup. You called for this a month ago. For and if they don't keep him in the lineup, they're not going to win. I'll be honest with you, because they're chasing the Houston Astros. They need his bat in the lineup on a daily basis. Well, they, they're going to need his bat in the lineup and him to pitch. I don't care if they go to a seven-man rotation. They got to find a way to get this guy in the lineup every day. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I agree, I agree he's having a tremendous start of the season, and he is a sensation that we have never seen before. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest. If the Anaheim Angels want to win in the playoffs, he has to pitch. Pitching has to be a priority to him. Mm -hmm. So like they said when he came over, they said, hey, here's probably 200 at-bats. We're going to guarantee you, mm -hmm. and then we'll go from there. I get it. What you're going to do is if you put him in situations like that where he pinch hits, you're going to shorten that man's career. Bro, it's not that easy to do. Everyone's got routines, and young. this guy needs to get back on the mound and do what he knows. He's only 23, Swish. You I'm just saying, man. 23. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is the guy is, is a phenomenon. They need him. And chasing the best team in baseball from last year to this year, 
it's, it's a tough chore for anyone. So if I, I'm, I'm the, the manager, I'm going to try to find a way to get this guy in the lineup every day because I need him. When he is in the lineup, they're averaging a run and a half more than when he's not in the lineup. So my question is what they've been doing all year, they've stuck with it. He starts day before, day of, and day after start, he does not hit. Would you change that? You want him to hit all I want him to hit. Because I, I think he's that flex still. You think so? He's the glue in that team. He got the MVP over there. I'm Mike telling you right now, there. when this guy's playing well, the rest of the team is just up, and the, the superstars he's are right. playing well. He's right. But bro. when he's out of the lineup, they're not doing anything. Yeah, Their offense is, is underachieving without him in the lineup. But you totally agree that they that for them to win, he has to pitch well. No, oh, he right? has to. I mean, they, they need to start. So, but you not think many guys he's, can he's throw able to you think he's able to handle 500 abs and 30 plus starts a year? Mm, he might be. He's 23. I think he should hit when he pitches, for sure. Well, he did it in Japan. I think he, I think he should hit when he pitches. I, I mean, I think that, you know, they've done a great job to try to keep him fresh. but I, Well, if they give him a day off the day he pitches, I understand that, not hitting. But the rest of the days, i got to have him in the lineup. Because it's hard to find a guy with that much power from the left side that protects all those right-handed hitters they have. Yeah. It's hard to have him out of that I lineup. I mean, he, he definitely helps their lineup, no his, doubt. His OPS is, is, is 950. His OPS is 950. Yeah, that boy good. So, yeah. Oh, you're talking good about him now. I can't, I, 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 I'm not saying I'm not a fan. You want to send him a triple I'm not play. saying I'm not a fan. You want to send him a triple play. I'm just saying that it, it, I don't know if his body can hold up to that, man. I get it, 23, you feel like Superman, no doubt about it. Go ahead, just say But I don't want this man to be a one-year one sensation. Just say I want you're, him to you're jumping on the bandwagon right now. No, no, no. I wasn't even here in spring training. What you talking about, Willis? It's crazy. <laughs>